my loves i'm ellie frost and this channel is about the multi-dimensional approach to rapidly and radically healing and transforming during and after narcissistic abuse yesterday i went live um with some of the people on the channel it was such a great experience it was lovely to connect with you and if you want to catch that replay it's the narcissist is a non-self it went on for an hour and a half so it's a long um recording but it was such a brilliant um vibe so i do recommend you check that out if you haven't seen it um and please also check out the special offer because my program sovereign i'm doing if you join by the first of august i'll give you a complimentary 90 minute session with me so do check that out in the community tab as well so let's go on to the narcissist knows what they're doing yeah so many of us sort of live in denial we just do not want to believe that people could be that awful to us yeah when my father uh, finally discarded me and it was brutal I told myself that and it was easier for me to believe this you know that he just couldn't help but abuse me so it was he was doing it because he loved me yeah that he he brutally discarded me cut me off from the family smeared my name did all sorts of awful things um, but I told myself, which was actually helpful to my inner child at the time, that it was out of love. But love's not on the menu with a narcissist. They don't act from love. They act in order to trauma bond you, right? They want to be the most significant person in your life for the worst possible reasons, because they want to keep you traumatized. When you're traumatized, yeah, we have a lot of energy, um, like life force and emotion, still being sent to the narcissist in the psychic realm so they get a battery source out of it they get a power supply from it right it makes them feel powerful it makes them feel good that they get to hurt you that they because when they hurt you and trauma bond you they're pretty much emotionally controlling you right and i was emotionally controlled by my father for decades yeah and after he discarded me i was very much um feeling broken about it you know, I was walking around with that on my heart and mind for a long time before I healed. So the narcissist knows what they're doing. If you're in any doubt, think about how they set up the network of enablers and flying monkeys and how they project an image with other people. Think about how they love bomb you, right? In the love bombing, idealization uh, stages, the narcissist is is being a, like and hoovering stages as well. They're being what you need them to be, right? They know how to behave. They know how to behave in front of other people, right? They know what they're doing. They know it hurts you. And unfortunately, that's the point, right? Because the more traumatized you are, the more psychic energy you're likely to give in obsessing over it, going over it, being emotionally hurt. So the more energy you're giving in the psychic realm. Yeah. And again, my work in Sovereign is excellent at breaking trauma bonds, stopping you obsessing and ruminating. So do check that out in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my mailing list, please do. That's totally free. And I do um, send out free resources on that list. Right. So please um, see the comments and subscribe on my website to my mailing list because I'll be I'll be giving out resources there for you as well. Right. So they know they hurt you, right? A lot of what I learned in personal development as I was training to be a coach um, doesn't apply to victims of narcissistic abuse. Things like giving people the benefit of the doubt, right? A narcissist will completely abuse that, yeah? The more you give them the, more, the benefit of the doubt, the more they take it as permission to act in terrible ways, yeah? Another thing we're taught in personal development and coaching is to take radical responsibility, yeah, for everything in our lives. I am for that. But with a nar when you've been the victim of narcissistic abuse, you are not responsible in any way for the terrible ways that they've treated you, right? We're told to give people, you know, second chances and things like that, but none of this works with a narcissist. They're playing by the same playbook, right? They're gonna go down the same sequence. And the biggest um, stage of the relationship is a devaluation stage where they're eroding your self-esteem, your sense of self, your confidence, and often your resources, energetically, spiritually, and financially, if they can. The narcissist loves you financially dependent on them. So don't think they're not financially abusing you if you're dependent on them. You know, that's how they can control you. That's so easy to control. And if you're supporting, I mean, it goes both ways. Sometimes they'll make you financially dependent to have the control. Other narcissists will absolutely drain your, re I mean, all narcissists will drain your resources. Yeah. Including your finances. Um, if you've got any. So 
just know that they're accountable. They should be responsible, but a narcissist will never take accountability and responsibility. That's why they use word salad, which is just like spinning you round like a salad spinner, spinning you round in circles, never getting to the point. That's why they gaslight you, which is about distorting your reality, making you think that what you think happened didn't happen or there's something wrong with you. Like maybe you're crazy. We talked about this on the live that my dad told, uh, once tried to get me sectioned um, because I called him out on his terrible behaviour. And luckily, Luckily, um, a nurse, I was in hospital at the time with panic attacks, a nurse um, luckily spoke up to him and said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with your daughter. This is a very normal response to what's going on in her life, right? But it's, it's, it's uh, very common that they'll call you crazy um, and actually they can send you almost crazy. Like that happened, you know, they can, they can psychiatrically affect you in such a way that you think you've gone mad, right? Because it is a crazy making cycle. So they know what they're doing, yeah? They know it hurts you. That's why they're doing it. And that's the awful truth that we have to face, yeah? They're not oblivious to their actions. They are so detached, they're acting with an entity of consciousness we're calling narcissism. And it's a very dark, destructive energy. So please check out um, the comments for the mailing list. Please check out Sovereign. I will give you a complimentary 90-minute uh, session with me if you join by the 1st of August, um, which is pretty exciting. Lots of love. Please keep liking, subscribing and sharing. I'm so happy you're here and I'll speak to you soon.